should expect E4 by Fabiano. Yeah. And again, this beautiful uh, shot of the player's overhead shot uh, as they're getting on their game faces and the arbiter is about to start the clock. Yeah, Predictions? So you, uh, Predictions? Yeah. Um, I think Fabi's going to push uh, Magnus around a little bit, and then I think Magnus is going to equalize and the game's going to draw. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to say um, Carlson, great form. It's going to be a rich game, and he's going to come out on top. Good, good, good. What do you uh, think? Eric? I'm taking Fabiano. All right. We got all three results covered. <laughs> <laughs> a divided panel is what we have here, and there's the handshake. Well, Magnus was in a tough position last round against Wesley, so he pulled it out of the bag, but uh, and he's no, pushing it. No surprises. Everybody's oh. favorite Italian opening. That's there you right. have it, Bishop C5. Although it's funny because a lot of the Bishop B5 Roy Lopez's that have been playing um, have a lot of similarities with the Italian game in the way that the game develops, like with the slow D3, C3 type center. So which we actually, indeed is what has happened. We could yeah. actually almost not, uh, not be able to tell sometimes which is which. Yeah, <laughs> is the quite the Basically. transpositional right. C2, C3. H7, H6, not even allowing the bishop, uh, the peace sacrifice that uh, Fabi had uh, essayed. Now a4, a5, we've seen this before, that stops the idea of b4 and, and a5, and now knight a3. And you should put the knight to c2. Whoa. To and now a, a very unusual Shocking. positional decision here to take yeah. the bishop for the knight. Yaz, you hate that. Oh, I really do. I mean, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the world champion basically says uh, there's no knight b5, there's no knight c2, d4. Obviously, white is trying to get in this move, d4. And maybe the bishop, the ma world champion Magnus Carlsen just felt that the bishop on c5 was more of a tactical target, gave up the two bishops. Um, I don't like the decision, but I can understand, I can at least understand it. Yeah, so he must have prepared that, right? Maybe he just wants yes. to play knight e7, knight g6, rook e8, bishop e6, try to trade off one uh, pair of bishops, but uh, I don't, I think... He just wanted to play some sort of system this game, uh, something a bit uh, unorthodox, and uh, I mean, maybe he's giving some respect to, to Fabiano, avoiding uh, playing, let's say, a main line. Mm. But yeah, I guess Black, if Black manages to get off, uh, let's say, the swap off the light squared bishops, uh, what do you make of that structure? It, it all depends if, Bla if White can get in the move D3, D4 in time. Just a second, let's see. We have had a couple of... Uh, of moves here after h3 bishop e6 there was bishop e3 uh, that's how I thought without the move bishop e3 by the way I really thought that uh, Fabi was playing for d4 that was not the case he went bishop e3 still a big uh, just a lot of maneuvering but exactly as I guess 97 96 and you probably want to play bishop e6 as uh, as black maybe recapture with the rook and then play d5 yourself mm-hmm Agreed. And it looks like this is happening. After bishop takes e6, rook takes e6, we do have this on the board. Okay, and now... Uh, and so, it, 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 I like It actually uh, went queen b3, uh, tickling two pawns, the pawn on f7 as well as the pawn on b7. Magnus was not worried about his b7 pawn. Because we have rook b8, Because right? we have rook b8. Yeah, it... But, but, but he can go for that still, I think. And he has. Yeah. He has. Because we queen can also tickle b7. the a pawn. Exactly. Lots of tickling involved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, okay, you know, so let's see. Let's see. Rook um, b8, queen a6. From a strategic point of view, I like um, Eric's idea and the one that uh, was played that, uh, you know, instead of two bishops, now white only has one. So that's why this bishop e6 is kind of integral to also taking the bishop off on uh, a3. Agreed. Uh, I think there was a, a, a mistake that Magnus played with the move bishop d7 earlier. I wanted to mention that, that he had knight a7. Uh, we can go back to that at some point, but if they do go for this position that I have on my board, which is rook take, this is the current position. Yeah, if and he hasn't played rook, rook b2 yet. B2, queen takes a5. It's a clean extra pawn. Uh, you know, all other things being equal, good technique should win the game. I agree with you, I have an interesting idea here. Yes. Maybe Magnus is, well, he's going to be down a pawn. Yeah. And queen a5, Maybe yes. knight h5, yeah. try to put a knight on f4 and play rook g6 and 
try to uh, change the, the position because otherwise that eight pawn is coming down very quickly and black's going to just be playing, uh, you know, reacting to, to white. But uh, maybe knight h5, knight f4, rook g6, queen d7 and try to pose some practical problems for I Fabian. Agree. Agreed. I agree. Mean, that also hits d3. I think black has um, a, a little bit of compensation here. Okay, after queen a5, a different approach by Magnus. Uh, n there was a lot to be said, actually, for knight h5, knight f4, uh, Eric and Jennifer. Instead, a um, bit of a surprise, breaking in the center, d6, d5. That seems like that would benefit some of White's pieces, too. Exactly. That's why, <laughs> I'm that's kind why of like it's taken strange, aback. the yeah. rook in e1 and the knight on f3 are, are both uh, released to some extent with that move. But uh, so let's, let's see after takes on d5, he's planning to knight recapture with the knight, which also um, brings that same idea of sticking a knight into f4. Exactly. But instead, it looks like uh, Fabi's played... Um, rook a1. Yeah, rook on, on the a, third rank. a3 to a1. And yeah. now uh, there's going to be a, a double capture on e4, I suppose. Takes, takes, knight takes e4. Little yeah, I guess was he trying back to, the pawn? Was he trying to take on h6 here, perhaps? Yeah, uh, there's f2 is hanging yeah, too. Yeah, f2 is hanging in the bishop variation. Bishop h6. Bishop c1. Bishop c1 is a ah, double attack. You, thank you. But you know, uh, uh, that clears the cobwebs yes. a, a bit. There's a double attack against the 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 knight as well as the rook. Is is that the end of the variation, though, yeah. Eric? Are we sure? After rook f2. After rook f2, rook e4, rook f3. White's king is kind of exposed, I, I don't, yeah, isn't yeah, it? But we? Queen d1 and knight a. Well, knight a. Well, you can't really play knight h4. Why well, can't we well, just play you king? You can play knight f4 and rook g6 ideas. So well, there's some rook. Well, some messies. I, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> maybe it's not working, but it's not uh, working. <laughs> uh, According to the engines, but it's okay. easier for easier for, for me to say and that. But yeah. Magnus is in the tank, though. Yeah, he, he, Magnus is thinking. He's probably considering that, and otherwise a move like Queen C8 with the idea of not only maybe Rook A6 uh, competing for the A file, but that would also help Knight H5, Knight F4, and Rook G6. The Queen on C8 would become a factor in that position. So, um, yeah, either, either a tactical variation with Knight E4, or maybe this Queen C8, and you you can do something on the light squares. Mm. Well, Rook very tense game uh, going on right. here. Uh, at first, I thought after queen takes a5, Fabi was doing very nicely. And queen c8, this multi-purpose move. Um, you're, you're channeling the world champion there, Eric. Queen c8 <laughs> was his choice. Uh, so, st so, the, yeah. so really a multi-purpose move because there's the rook a6. Sometimes we can go to b7 and gang up on e4. Um, pretty cool move. Well, yeah, yeah, so the variation you gave, there are some chances for black, though. There so are. The 94 is not, like, definitive, you know, there, you could play it as That's black. That's kind of what I felt, but the Turn, world champion, a little bit uh, unsure uh, that he needed to play knight e4. Probably he feels he's got some practical yeah, chances sure. here. Sure, and there's tactical possibilities here. It's not like we missed the opportunity to play knight e4 and there's no more sacrifices. Well, well what about the simple knight d2? Knight d2 has been played. Just protecting the pawn. Now, on but a we good can day... we switch back to that idea of putting a knight on f4. And Magnus yeah. has quickly played knight h5. Yeah, so he knight is... Knight h5. He is trying to revert to this plan of sticking a knight on f4. And notice that the queen on c8 also performs a function on hitting the um, H3 pawn in some of these lines. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Uh, in view of all of those threats, knight c4 has to Happen. be played. And then the rook went all the way back to b8 instantly. You know, Magnus t took up a lot of time finding this excellent move, queen c8, while he's also puzzling over the thrilling knight takes c4. So mm -hmm. he's, he was in a time deficit, but he's starting to make it up now. Uh, one and a half minutes to basically two minutes. Yeah, so but trend is second, but the, yeah, but <laughs> trend's the, favoring Magnus now. But, but there are some serious threats going on against uh, Fabi's king. Yeah, Magnus is keeping the pieces on the board, and those knights get very tricky as your time goes down. I just want to update that Nakamura's blundered, so he's in a tough situation. The game's going to go on for a while, but on the other other board, uh, things are going to be exciting as well. So, uh, uh, who, who, who's doing well in that uh, game? Maxim uh, MVL. MVL uh, is up a pawn against. Uh, Hikaru. Ooh. It's going to go on for a while, but that's what's happening in that game. Okay. So this is our super big moment for <coughs> yes. the world champion, and he has stuck a knight into f4. Which one? The h1. <laughs> <laughs> Both leaders down a pawn. Wow, knight 
okay, but because he chose this knight, he hasn't put it. He doesn't have an opportunity for rook g6. So no. He was forced to because e5 was hanging. Ah, very good. Uh, the knight the, the two question is, is, is knight takes g2 in the air. <laughs> or, and it can, looks scary. It, yeah. And can Fabi... And there's knight e2 check. I, yeah, there's I like this position from Agnes. In, as they go under one minute, there's no way to resolve the position easily. It's, why, it's so easy to blunder uh, or start seeing ghosts. Because maybe knight g2 doesn't work, but you pretty much don't want to risk that as what you're up upon. You like don't want to lose because right. you're going. Like it's, it's practically easier for, for Magnus. And he found himself in this situation against Hikaru last night as well. And, and he has captured the knight on f4. And then he's captured on e5. Bishop f4, knight f4, knight e5 in order to stop uh, rook g6. That was the that was the move that was really annoying uh, white. And we saw queen e8. Queen e8 trying to force the issue there with getting the rook on g6. And knight f3, knight f3 and f3. indeed rook g6 immediately. I thought he was going to play knight g4 just to sidestep the impact of rook g6. Well, that was what he was supposed to play. You can mm -hmm. also then play knight e3 and at least protect g2 naturally. But now, rook now things G6 get very looks sharp. scary because there's a threat of queen takes e4. And well. knight takes h3. And, and rook takes g2. And, uh, and what did he do? He's on queen f5. And now, um, rook, with the idea that if they're rook g2, the king moves and we've got a double attack. But instead, just knight takes g2. Now maybe happened. rook f6 and then and knight f4 and bring H1. the knight back into the game. But king now, H1 all three played. results are definitely possible. I thought that, I, I felt that Fabi was going to be pushing early. Magnus would crawl his way back into the game, equalize. And now I agreed. Uh, look at the times also. Now Magnus Ooh. has almost twice as much time. And, rook and he's played a rook a6 six to bring the other e5, rook into the game. E5, very precise, stopping rook f6. And now, for example, like white is winning according to the engines because that knight can't get out. I thought he was going to play rook f6 and bring his knight out that well, way. After, note that after rook a6, we, we see queen a8 getting in the long diagonal there. Queen a8 has been played. Yes, and now rook b4 by Fabi. C5 trying to bring looks another like a rook very into the defense with here. rook g4, <laughs> perhaps. And just covering C5 F4. has been played. Magnus. But there's, okay, not rook g4, playing the tough moves. but rook e4 just blocking up yep. that diagonal. Very nice. Now queen d5 looks like a natural move to improve the queen position. And now we've got the, the full board and here. The and time. indeed, queen Magnus played your move, queen d5. Uh, because of the time. 20 seconds for both players. Uh, C4 in the board. Yeah, okay. I'm going to just uh, look at the overhead web. We are, yeah. And so look at this. After Fast C4, play. C4, queen both d3. Both under 20. Uh, it, it feels to me like a Kariwana is... Um, Trapping the knight? Picking up the e6. And now he's got Was a chance that a to good play move? e6. And after rook, rook takes e6, e6 knight, knight e5. e5. That is Great a good line. Great shot. Ooh, Ooh, knight f4. Queen f7. Oh my god. The world champion blundered. Queen takes f7. Because now after queen takes f7, king moves. Just take the queen. Wow. So, great game.